So once you've set up the Authenticate to access with your Google Analytics account, here's how you use the um, Query Exporter. The idea is that for each um, set of data you want to export, you need a sheet with the query you want to run. Um, as well as um, the query you want to run, the data needs to be written to a sheet. And so because Google Spreadsheets are limited to 255 sheets per spreadsheet, this means you can run around 125 queries. Um, and if you need more than that, then you can just take another copy of the spreadsheet and um, authenticate the access and do some more um, queries with that. So easiest way to get started is just to um, duplicate an existing sheet and give it a name. The name you use can be anything you like. Um, just for simplicity, I'm going to call this one input free. Um, if you know enough about the Google Analytics API that you could fill this form in yourself. But um, when I was designing this, I was thinking about using the Query Explorer tool. So this tool allows you to build queries, it helps you fill in the values, you can test the data collection. Um, so I've got a query running, collecting um, stats for the two previous months. And then if I click on the query URI, I can copy this. And then in the spreadsheet, there is a tool to import. So I can just paste the value in and it fills in the form for us. Um, so the thing we need to remember to do is change the sheet name. Um, because we're running Chrome jobs, so we're going to set up a trigger to run this. Um, for example, on the first of each month, we want to dy dynamically create these dates. Um, and we can do that using formula built in. So um, if I was setting this up for to run on the first of the month, I'd do minus one because I'm a bit late. It's the second of July, I'm gonna do minus two. So that gives us our end date. And then to build the start date, you need to be a bit clever. So there's um, a date formula which takes year, month, and day. So if for the year, I can just take the value calculated in the second cell, and if I just minus approximately two months from that, and I can do, oops, I need it in there, and I can do something similar for the month. And then for the day, if we just say it's the first. So there we have the um, first of May. Um, to run this, we need to set up a, a trigger. So I have some example triggers in here. I'm going to do one where um, I create a CSV and write it to a particular folder. So I've already created a folder in here called GA data. And what I need is the ID of that folder which is in the URL. So if I paste that in and save, to set up the trigger, I need to use this menu here. I've already got one trigger. So this is the one I want to, to run. It's time driven and I want to do it each month. So given the way I've set that up, if I say to run it on the second of each month, just after midnight, it would do it. Um, so that's it, we don't need to have the spreadsheet open, it will happily do that. Just to show you um, what it looks like when it runs. So it's running the function as a demonstration. And if I go back into here, you'll see the CSVs in here. And we've also received, if I go to my mailbox,